What's up YouTube? It's Mr. Ferguson here. Thank you guys so much for coming back for another video here in Central North Carolina. Thank you for clicking on this midweek quickie. We're gonna jump right into it today. We're gonna read a scripture. Um, it's pretty much one or two scriptures that go along with this, but uh, thank you for joining. Um, this one hits is more from home um, because one of the things on this channel that I've tried to do and have said in some of the other recordings of this video is that I like to make this channel, number one, about devotions and, and talking about quick studies about the Lord because, as I've mentioned many times, God has changed my life. But then we stick to grass on Monday and Fridays and... Um, and we kind of shun the things of the world and it's just a sanctuary where you can come to Mr. Ferguson's channel on Mondays and Fridays and get away and, and talk about things in the lawn. Talk about how, wow, Mr. Ferguson's lawn's getting worse. Man, that's terrible. Or, man, look, that striping kit's pretty, you know, and, it, and it's not things of the world that, you know, you can get the news from TV. You can get, you know, bickering and fighting from Facebook and from Twitter. And we try to stay away from that stuff. So that's the point. Um, however, there's times when the news and the things of the world enter into your life and there's no getting away from it because now it's starting to impact real world situations. And I find myself in one of those real world situations. So before we get into that part that I want to share with you guys, um, there's two things that I don't want this video to be like. Number one, I don't want it to be, oh, poor Mr. Ferguson whining and crying and all of this. I don't want it to be that. Number two, I don't want it to be political, and I don't want there to be any type of arguments in the comments about, you know, uh, uh, anything political, pro-mask, anti-mask, pro-vaccine, anti-vaccine, Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, Independent. No, I don't want I don't want us to fight. That's not the purpose of this video. So Matthew 6, 25, 26. And I've got the old King James version, so it's uh, it's not as easy to read and pronounce, but I think you'll get the point. The, um, verse 25, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, for what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet your body, not yet for your body and what you shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, the birds, Behold the birds of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet their heavenly Father, your heavenly Father, feedeth them. Are you not much better than they? And so that's the scripture, Matthew 6, 25 through 26. You're like, Mr. Ferguson, you know, that don't, that don't have a whole lot to do with lawn care. And, and you're right, um, that don't have hardly anything to do with lawn care besides the fact that when we wake up in the morning, sometimes you'll see birds in your lawn. And what are they doing? They're looking for food. They're looking for grubs. They're looking for bugs. They're looking for worms, right? And so the purpose of this scripture, you know, in, in let's, let's take it for face value, um, birds, you know, come into our lawn and they eat every morning and I asked and we and we've had this devotion last night and it was so good that's why I thought I would share it as a midweek quickie but when we drive to school when we drive to work do you see a bunch of dead birds on the sidewalks do you see birds carcasses all over the place we don't hardly ever the most of the time the only time you see a dead bird is when it's ran into a glass window or something and killed itself um, but we don't why because they find food there's food everywhere and the Bible tells us right here plainly Jesus tells us that he feeds the birds the birds don't worry about where that food's gonna come from the birds aren't planting grubs in our lawn they're not planting worms around so that they can come back later and eat them the birds don't know where they're gonna eat tomorrow and then later on in that same chapter Jesus actually says tomorrow will never come don't worry about tomorrow worry about today because tomorrow may never come and uh, but, but we, we're not gonna go into all the scripture so basically mr. Ferguson okay you're saying that God will provide for the birds and then later Jesus says how much more do you mean to me than birds? I will provide for you. Don't take thought of your life. I will provide all that you have need of. So the reason why I bring this scripture up is because uh, it's very, it's becoming very impactful for me right now. Um, I'm in one of those situations. And again, we don't want to get into politics. We don't want to get into arguments here. That's not the objective. Um, I just want to tell you my personal situation. Um, I'm one of those that is in a situation where my job has required me to take the vaccine or, um, or, or do weekly testing and things of that nature. And it's something that I disagree with. It's something that I've been in talks with, um, with my, you know, my, my employer, 
for many days now. Uh, we've went back and forth. They've relayed their points. I've relayed mine. Some of my points they don't want to address. They don't want to talk about. And um, it's looking like my days at my job may be numbered unless God does something. And that's difficult. It's very difficult. And the reason why, you know, I, I decided to go forward with making this video is not to poor, poor Mr. Ferguson might not know. That's please don't take it that way. I believe there's many of you out there. There may be many of your family, your brothers, your sisters, your your coworkers, somebody that may be in similar situations. And it's um, our country is in a tough situation right now because uh, there's a lot of things happening. <laughs> Um, uh, at our border, there's a lot of things happening with the, with the COVID vaccine. There's a lot of things happening, you know, with Afghanistan and with all of that going on. There's a lot of things happening, and there's a lot of people in similar situations as me. And I have total peace about my situation. Mr. Ferguson ain't worried. I'm not fearful. I'm not scared. Um, I just wanted to read this verse because I've just shown you that God says. He will provide for those that love him. He will take care of those. Don't even think about what you're going to eat. Don't even think about what you're going to put on your body. Don't think about where your shelter is going to come from. Take no thought for your life. For if I feed the birds every day, don't you think you mean more to me than a bird? I'll take care of you. And so I have peace about my situation. But I want to reach out to you out there. And, and concluding this, it's, hey, is there, I'm just curious, are some of you in similar situations? If you want to answer that, feel free to to answer that in the comments, but maybe you're not, maybe it's a family member, maybe it's your son or daughter or brother or sister. Um, I'm with you and I'm there and, and, and I've got my own personal beliefs and I believe everybody has to make their own personal choices in this world that we live in today. And so uh, it's very difficult and it's not to promote one side of the argument versus another. Please don't get me wrong. We can go to Facebook and we can debate and argue all day long if you want to. I have no desire to do that and I don't want to bring that here. I would just encourage you for those that are in similar situations that Mr. Ferguson may be in today. I encourage you. God knows what we have need of when we stand up for what we believe in in God's word and we say, no, I'm not going to do this because this don't feel right to me. This don't seem right to me. And we try our best to continue to say, well, let's work this out. You know, I don't want, I have no desire to leave my job. I've not been asked for these type of things to be forced down on me. God has just allowed me to be put in a situation like many others, nurses and doctors and others around the world um, and around the country that has now been faced with, hey, you got to do this whether you want to or not, or you may need to look for another job. And it, it can be very scary when we're talking about how am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to feed my children? It can be scary. But I want to encourage you today that if you stand up for the name of Jesus, if you stand up for what you believe in, in the word of God and say, no, I believe that God's word is true. This isn't this book just isn't something that I read on Sunday mornings and walk out the church and, and disregard the rest of the week. This book ain't something I just read it and be like, huh, that's interesting, and put it down and walk and do whatever I want to do. Maybe it is for some of you, maybe it is for most of the world. There's a whole lot of people out there playing church. And in the very uh, scripture before these ones that we read today, it says that you can't serve two masters. Jesus said that. You can't serve both the world, yourself, and serve Jesus. You can't serve two masters. I choose to serve Jesus. I choose to believe in this word. And there'll be some that may come to this video and laugh at Stephen Ferguson and say, you're an idiot. You're, And that's fine because guess what? The Bible says you're going to say those things because you lack understanding and you lack wisdom. And that's fine. You can make fun of me. But I know that my God, when he says things like what I just read, he can't break his word because if he does, the whole book is, is gone. He's a liar at that point. And my God ain't no liar. My God ain't going to ever let me down. So I hope this video will encourage somebody else out there that, hey, if you're in a similar situation, I'm with you. Please pray for me and my family. Uh, this ain't a sob story. This ain't a please. Oh, we need money. Send no, we, we'll be just fine. Like I just read, my God shall supply all of my needs. So we're going to be fine. But I just want to encourage you that you're not alone if you're like me and you're in a similar situation. So please pray for me. Let me know if you're in a similar situation. I'd love to be able to pray for you and my prayer time and we're going to get through this as God's people. He is always going to be by our side, help us and walk us through this and we will be victorious in the end. So with that, thank you so much for clicking on this midweek quickie. If you know somebody that could be encouraged by this, that may be going through a similar situation, share this video with them, share these scriptures with them. It doesn't have to be the video, share the Matthew 6, 25 and 26 scriptures with them, share it with them and say, God has got you. Do the right things. He always rewards those that are righteous and those that do the right things. 
thing. So God bless you today. Hope your Wednesday will be excellent and strong. We'll see you on Friday with a lawn care video. We're looking forward to aeration next week. God bless you guys. Have a great one.